Hello everyone, this is Timothy Thanks to Digital Apothecary, and today I'm going to be talking about this interesting medication and mining device. Now this one's been around for a while. I want to say I received a demo either back in 2016 or 17, and I've been sitting on it for quite some time, but since I started this YouTube channel to kind of review and talk about medication and mining technology, um, I thought I'd give this one a go. So this one's called Pildrill. And basically, it's an interesting platform, and you can see there's stuff playing in the background. But what it is, is they have basically this hub that you use as a central place where you then scan medications to tell yourself that you took them. Um, and it's quite interesting that how it all works. I watched a video, it's kind of good to see like a rundown of what it does. Now, go to the kit, just talk about some of the different parts, and then I'll open the box up and show you. But what it comes with is going to be all these different materials. So you have the central hub that I showed. Um, here, I'll get out my little pen. Yep. So this is the hub. And this is basically has a timer on it that shows the time and what's going on and such. Um, these are the medications. Um, it looks like a uh, you know medication, uh, medical uh, medication reminding box, uh, pill box. And two of them come in a set. You can buy more of them. So as you can see, you probably stack them up together and you can make a four-day supply or even more. Uh, then you have medication tags that you can put on pill bottles or such. And then there's a little um, charms that you can put on like an inhaler and it connects through an app. One thing I really like that I haven't seen in many other products, and I think they really got well, was this little bug here. Um, it's a little cube, and what you do is you can scan that next to the hub and from that you can actually denote what your mood is so you can say like you're good you're bad and other things so i think that's pretty cool so that's what it looks like so it has the time and such um it'll light up and tell you when to take the medications pill strip uh, scan tabs tag holders mute cube um and now in terms of cost and such looking at this product it's 279 dollars i think it used to be more it's come down in price um, there's no subscription fee though for it to use a platform. The app is free with the device, but you need to use the device in order to make the app function. Um, you can buy it through CVS and then and through their website. So as you can see, if you need extra pill strips though, they're about $30. Scan tags, $13. Tag holders, another $5. Uh, and then replacement po uh, parts like these little pods, I'll show you how they work. Come into it. There's a mood cube. And charger. So on their website and from what I can see online, they got pretty decent reviews. Um, I would say it's a pretty interesting system overall. Uh, in terms of evidence for use, I've done some work around. I haven't seen any clinical studies using pill drill, so I can't say anything about in terms of efficacy of this compared to standard of care or basically using clinical trial for any set diseases that would say, you know, clinical evidence supporting one thing or over another. But I think it's a really cool system because of this hub and the, like, this layout and the whole system is really interesting to me. So let's get this thing unboxed and we'll start taking a look at it. Okay, so I'm going to unbox this uh, pill drill. So as you can see, it comes in this little package, so I'm going to put stuff outside. So here's the hub, you got the plastic insert here, take that out, and then the accessories that come with it. So here is the pill tray, set that to the side, and you got these scanning tags, you got this little mood cube, and little tag inserts and then USB cable and charger so I've actually played with this thing in the past as I mentioned I had it all plugged up and I put it away but um essentially what you would do is you connect this thing and then through the app and such this hub would then be connected to the internet and then it could be accessed through an app and such and what you would then do is this is basically medication tray and how this works is let's suppose so I'm going to go back to my easily accessible uh, medication stuff is that you would set this up on a weekly basis so each one's tied so this is a Sunday 
Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And so you could assume that this one would be the AM, this one would be the PM. Now, as you saw before, you could buy more of these and they could basically hook up to each other because um, they basically attach like this, as you can see, and they slide together and lock. And you have the option to add more on here as needed. So you could do like three times a day, you could do it to four times a day. Now I would probably say for average person, AM and PM is what you basically need. So I'm gonna just get this thing up a little bit. Now, as you reload them and you open it, so it just pops open like that and it locks. So you could basically say, if I am, if this was my AM dose, let's suppose in the morning I was taking like one tablet, one capsule. So let's put this in there. And what this what pill drill will do is this hub will start going beep, beep, beep. And it will be an alert sent to your uh, app and such and reminding you. And then what you do is you basically come back and you would scan this thing. And this thing would say, dose taken. Well, the assumption is like most of this stuff is that if you scan it or if you open or if you activate the sensor, then that you're taking the medication. You pop it. There's your meds. You would take them. And... You pop this back in, and basically throughout the entire week, then you have that. Now, what I like about this is this is pretty big. I mean, if you look at this compared to like another like medication box or such, this is a really big container. And for all intents and purposes, you know, these things um, basically it looks like they're um, RFID or Bluetooth. I mean, I mean RFID to scan with it, and. Um, I think it's really intriguing just from the aspect that this is such a big amount that you could put in here. So that's one feature I like about this compared to other um, medication um, adherence tools with like this kind of setup with these trays. Is this one's very like personalizable. Um, and then one cool feature I thought about that they had on here was the fact that you can actually take this and bind it like that. And they have little magnets down here. So you can actually do that. And so like here, pop off the magnet, drag over the top, and then these things are all closed. And now you can travel with it. So that's kind of cool. So if you were traveling away, you could still take your medications with, and it's kind of a travel friendly feature putting that stuff on. So I think that was a good design aspect to kind of make this thing a little more, you know, because people aren't always going to be at home for it. That now it comes back to the big thing is, you know, you could take this like say post on vacation and such, but you're not going to be like taking this to it from the office or, or from like a workplace and such. So could you basically take one of these? Um, you know, if I was out for the day, but I want to take one of these. Uh, now we get to the problem: is this travel friendly? Could I throw this in the purse? Could I throw it in my pocket? I'm not too sure about that. That's probably one thing that I think stands out to me. This seems very much like a platform that's meant for people at home. I think it's very nice for probably an elderly population or someone that's not as mobile around and definitely has a high medication load. So this could be a really good feature. This seems to be very home friendly. Um, I think if you're taking the whole system with like traveling over a, uh, on vacation, going to stay at a hotel or someplace like that, then you have in the base a touch point to put them at. I think it'd be good for that aspect. So that's some things that seem to stand out to me. The my feature and such and the alarms is kind of the same for almost any other system I've seen out there. Now what is cool is this. So this is a little cube. Now you see good, bad, okay, great, awful, and then one that you can actually set up. And what you would do for this is you can actually scan this too. So you can say, you know, I'm having a great day. Let me scan that. I'm having a bad day. Let me scan that. Now you might be asking, why would you want to do this? And this is one feature I think that a lot of companies kind of negate. And what I mean by that is I all too often feel like, you know, it's so focused on just taking medication. What about how is the patient? How are they doing? Um, are they feeling great? Are they having a bad day? Coming back to like modern side effects, things like that. So if they start a new drug and you start seeing like this stuff start going down, then that might be a stamps a sign that maybe the medication isn't doing well, or maybe it's a disease. I mean, it's hard to tell, but the more data you have, the better. So this is something I really think is cool because it's interactive. It's like you got this little cube and you're playing with it. And if you watch a video, it's definitely that you see that. And the thing is all the data um, can be shared. So you can share this with like a loved one, family member, physician, pharmacist, 
But basically, it was an email update saying, okay, they scanned at this time, which you assume they took that medication that time. You know, they what was their mood throughout the day? They're scanning that. So this thing was like in your living room, your bed, or your kitchen and such. You would see it. And I think that's something that you can utilize uh, to your advantage. I would really like to see more companies focus on expanding with medications. Uh, and here's other data capture points or things like this that, you know, a patient can like utilize and say, hey, you know, I want to send an alert. Um, other things that were shown is you have the scanning tags. So these tags basically, um, as you can see here, these 3M stickers. Why would you do this? Well, you might have a medication that you don't want to put in here. And what would that be? Well, let's say it's like ibuprofen. Well, why would you, you know, most people don't take this stuff like on a schedule basis. It's more of an as needed or PRM medication. So there. And now if you took that, scan it, and then you know that that's what you did. Now the only thing is you have to set the scanning tags uh, through the app as well. Same thing with the app or the system is you have to set up with each one of these things is going on with the patient. Um, they give you a bunch of tags, which I think is cool. Um, the only issue is these stickers probably once you put them on, you can't remove them. Um, so that might be a drawback in terms of like you're losing a lot or if you don't buy the same medication, you could put it on the same bottle and such, so that might be a limitation there. Um, along with that then is you have these things. I've never taken these out, so let's open it up. Uh, so these, basically, again, I think you put these scanning tags on here. Um, are you right on here? And then what you would do with this is you're supposed to be putting this on like another medication. So like what example would stand out? Uh, I suppose some ideas might be like an inhaler, for instance, or maybe like an insulin pen or something like that. You can then attach this to, or maybe a liquid medication. Um, just like things that these skinny tags may not fit on easily. So that's where they come into play, which is I think beneficial. So you know, pill drill stands out to me as a system that trying to address a lot of things I think a lot of adherence companies might miss in terms of um, other form factor for medications, um, checking like, you know, how a patient's feeling and such. They have a really cool pill tray. I really like this idea and this concept. Probably the biggest thing that's hard for them though is that you have to really use this hub. Um, this hub is a heavy. So, this thing traveling, I can see being kind of a limitation in some f facets, and that's why I think for a patient that doesn't leave the home very often, or that is probably like, you know, an assisted living facility, things like that, like, I mean, or like, um, like some pl place where they may have someone coming by to help them out with setting up this stuff, but really someone who's not going to be highly, highly mobile throughout the day, this could probably be a good system, or someone whose medications are on a set basis, because the one thing is, I don't know how easy it would be to just carry these things around with you. I mean, you could because then through the app, you could just set it, say that you took the medication, but then it's on you and it kind of takes away from the form factor for that. So there's a lot of great cool ideas here. I can definitely see this being useful for certain patients. Um, I can definitely, I like the idea that they have for putting these tags and these other devices on other medications. I think a lot of like, if we talk about like smart pill caps or some other form factor adherence uh, tools that are out there, they don't really take that into consideration. Um, and I think that's really where pill drill is kind of shining through is because it is kind of like helping you trying to, it seems like to me this is like an overall system kind of approach. This I really would have been cool if they could um, leverage this a little bit more because I think this data is really useful. Like, especially if you have through an app saying like, you know, have more side effects or things like that. Um, so overall, that's Timothy LC Digital Apothecary. And this is Pildrill. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.